Welcome to episode 136, Michael Bloomberg, how he became billionaire and also the mayor of New York City. This is an outline of episode 136. There are three reasons why we study Michael Bloomberg. First, he is in the top 10 richest self-made billionaires in the world. Second, he was mayor of New York City for three terms. Third, he has donated more than $4 billion to charity. Let us meet Michael Bloomberg. The year was 2001. Bloomberg, at the age of 59, was running for his first term as the mayor of New York City. Why would a multi-billionaire like you want to stand on a street corner in the early morning in the Bronx and want to be mayor of this town? Why? Because it's the greatest city in the world and the opportunity to lead it and to make a difference and to do things that everybody says can't be done, it's just too much to pass up. And in this poorest of New York's five boroughs, one of its richest men is out pressing the flesh. Stop and say hello to Mike Bloomberg, he's running for mayor. Say hello to Mike Bloomberg, he's running for mayor of New York. Morning, Mike Bloomberg. For low income earners here, it's a fleeting encounter with the five billion dollar man. Bloomberg would lead New York City for three terms, from 2002 to 2013. So how did it all begin? Michael Bloomberg was born to middle-class Jewish immigrant parents in Boston, Massachusetts in 1942. In high school, he was an Eagle Scout. Michael Bloomberg attended Johns Hopkins University where he paid his tuition by taking out loans and working as a parking lot attendant. In 1964, Bloomberg graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering from Johns Hopkins University. In 1966, Bloomberg graduated MBA from Harvard University. In 1966, he landed his first job as an entry-level position with Solomon Brothers, a Wall Street investment bank. Bloomberg quickly rose through the ranks at Salomon, overseeing equity trading and sales before heading up the firm's information systems. When Salomon was acquired in 1981, he was let go from the firm. In 1981, at the age of 39, using $10 million from his severance package, he went on to found Innovative Market Systems. In 1986, Innovative Market System would be renamed Bloomberg LP. Uh, there were four co-founders of Innovative Market System. Bloomberg would own 88%. The other three co-founders all own 4% of Bloomberg. Thomas Secunda and Charles Seeger would both become billionaires. Now, who is the fourth co-founder and what happened to him? Duncan McMillan is no longer a billionaire and I don't know why. I cannot even find a picture of Duncan McMillan. One of the first chapters, The Last Supper, The Thrill of Getting Fired. Explain. Well, uh, I have got thrown out of Solomon Brothers uh, when we sold the company. And technically, I was just not asked to join the new company. And while that hurt my ego, we were selling the old company, and so I got a lot of money at the same time. Uh, which is slightly different than a severance, but because uh, technically I wasn't fired, I just wasn't asked to join the new company. And you got $10 million? That's what the book says. Put some of it into a bank account and started the current company. Uh, didn't put anywhere near enough in and rent went through that amount of money maybe in six months and then every month for the next couple of years wrote another check out of my personal account into the company's account. Michael Bloomberg founded the company with one core mission, to use the power of technology to bring transparency to capital markets, allowing everyone to see the same data at the same time. That transparency is crucial to making the global marketplace efficient, fair, and dynamic. Today, Bloomberg is one of the most influential and innovative companies in the world. Bloomberg has nearly 19,000 employees in 192 locations in 73 countries, including over 2,400 news and multimedia professionals and 4,000 technologists who are constantly creating new solutions. His big innovation was the Bloomberg Terminal. The company's core product, the Bloomberg Professional Service, also known as the Bloomberg Terminal, connects over 327,000 top business and financial decision makers 
investment firms, corporations, commercial and central banks, government agencies, universities, and high net worth individuals. In 2008, uh, Merrill Lynch agreed to sell its 20% stake in Bloomberg for $4.5 billion. Bloomberg raised his stake in the company from 68% to 88%. The three-term New York City mayor, 2002 to 2013, the most popular mayor, he took over New York City in the aftermath of the September 11 attack and led New York City to unprecedented prosperity, or back to number one city in the world. During his tenure as mayor, from 2002 through 2013, Bloomberg brought his innovation-driven approach to city government. He turned around a broken public school system by raising standards and holding schools accountable for success. He spurred economic growth and job creation by revitalizing old industrial areas, spurring entrepreneurship, supporting small businesses and strengthening key industries, including new media, film and television, bioscience, technology and tourism. In the name of public health, Bloomberg tried banning cigarette display and oversized sodas in restaurants. I think this measure will help reduce impulse purchases, and if it does, it will literally save lives. Michael Bloomberg is talking about tobacco products. He wants them kept out of sight in all stores in New York City. On the 11th of March, a New York state judge struck down his plan to put size limits on soda drinks in restaurants, cinemas, sporting venues and other places. In 2014, Bloomberg briefly tried to do philanthropy full time. In 2016, he was urged to run for the president of the United States, but chose not to. He endorsed Hillary Clinton instead. One of the top 10 wealthiest men in America, former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg, is once again pledging his commitment to research and education, making a $300 million donation to the Johns Hopkins School of Public Health that bears his name. A fraction of the $1.5 billion, yes, billion, Bloomberg has donated since he graduated 52 years ago. GIFT will beef up manpower at Hopkins on five issues Bloomberg believes impact quality of life drug addiction, environmental threats, adolescent health, obesity, and gun violence in America. He's hoping to change lives of millions across the country with some huge support from an alumnus. What have I learned today? Michael Bloomberg will forever be remembered as the three-term mayor of New York City and the Bloomberg School of Public Health at Johns Hopkins University he founded. And for many issues he stands for, besides making tons of money in Wall Street, Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your comments and questions below. My next video will be Michael Bloomberg, 8 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.